See a beach and most of us want to lie on it, walk the dogs on it or yes. build sandcastles. But two artists from Bradford see a beach as a blank canvas for making art. Well, in just over two weeks' time, they're off to France to create one of their biggest works yet. And it's all in the name of peace. They've been practising today on Filey Beach from where Cathy Killick reports. Churchill famously said, we'll fight them on the beaches. And in Normandy, of course, they did. Here in Filey, though, the beach is being used to commemorate those who lost their lives in World War II. An outline of one of the fallen is raked onto the sand to create an artwork to represent the dead. It's the idea of Bradford sand artists Jamie Wardley and Andy Moss. 2010, I went on a very memorable trip with my father to the D-Day beaches. And I was walking on, I think it was Omaha Beach, and it was all very, very moving. And I've been doing sand drawing for quite a while, and I just thought, how could I actually put sand drawing to some use and make a very evocative meaningful piece of artwork. This work is practice and preparation for a much bigger work to be made in France on Peace Day, which is September the 21st. It'll involve hundreds of volunteers raking thousands of fallen bodies onto the beach at Aramange. There'll be 9,000 in all, representing all the people that lost their lives on D-Day. It promises to be both spectacular and sobering. We're professionals and we make these big images, but anyone can grab a rake and just uh, draw in the sand. It's wonderful. And then you don't have to be too precious about it, because when the sea comes in, it just wipes it all away. The artists have gathered their templates from volunteers. One is Monica Kershaw, whose son Christopher was killed in Afghanistan last year. It's been absolutely lovely just sort of um, getting involved in doing this. And it just sort of like shows you that um, people still remembering what we're doing it for and the reason behind it as well, and I think it's, it's something really that's nice to take part in. This is it. They're on the beach. The loss of life on D-Day was catastrophic and is widely remembered, and commemorating the war is one thing, but actively campaigning for peace is a step further, and that's what this work and the event in France is all about. washes the bodies away, it's a reminder that life is short and precious, and peace helps protect it. Cathy Gillick, BBC Look North, Filey.